Papo. Kill Bill stunt coordinator speaks out on Uma Thurman's car crash. Earlier this week, actress Uma Thurman spoke to the New York Times about how renowned film director Quentin Tarantino pressured her into getting behind the wheel of the blue convertible that crashed on the set of Kill Bill. The accident, which occurred when the actress was forced to drive down a steep, winding road in a questionable car, left Thurman with a concussion and knee damage, and now, the film stunt coordinator is speaking out, saying the entire stunt department was off-duty that day. Tarantino has since responded to Thurman's claims, saying the crash was the biggest regret of his life. However, the question remains why no stunt professionals were on set during the scene, especially when Thurman told the Times that she asked for a stunt person to do the sequence. Stunt coordinator Keith Adams recently spoke to The Hollywood Reporter about his work on Kill Bill stating he never would have let the actress drive the car if he had known that was the plan. No stunts of any kind were scheduled for the day of Miss Thurman's accident, Adams wrote in an email to the source. All of the stunt department was put on hold and no one from the stunt department was called to set. At no point was I notified or consulted about Miss Thurman driving a car on camera that day. Had I been involved. I would have insisted not only on putting a professional driver behind the wheel but also ensuring that the car itself was roadworthy and safe, Adam said. I post this clip to memorialize its full exposure in the nit by Maureen Dowd. The circumstances of this event were negligent to the point of criminality. I do not believe though with malicious intent. Quentin Tarantino, was deeply regretful and remains remorseful about this sorry event and gave me the footage years later so I could expose it and let it see the light of day, regardless of it most likely being an event for which justice will never be possible. He also did so with full knowledge it could cause him personal harm, and I am proud of him for doing the right thing and for his courage. The cover-up after the fact is unforgivable. For this I hold Lauren Spender, E. Bennett Walsh, and the notorious Harvey Weinstein solely responsible. They lied, destroyed evidence, and continue to lie about the permanent harm they caused and then chose to suppress. The cover-up did have malicious intent, and shame on these three for all eternity. Can never send anyone to Mexico. I hope they look after other clients more respectfully if they in fact want to do the job for which they take money with any decency. A post shared by Yuma Thurman, Atty Thurman on February 5, 2018 at 10.15 a.m. PST. Other stunt experts have spoken out about the incident, saying the accident could have been a lot more serious. The stuff that went on is a play, stunt performer and coordinator Andy Armstrong told The Hollywood Reporter. That could have been a death by decapitation. The car could easily have rolled over, or, the camera could have flown forward. It was irresponsibility on a mega level.